Hello everyone, in this video we will talk about the metabolism of very low density lipoprotein. In our previous video we have discussed about chylomicron metabolism. So why I am mentioning about chylomicron metabolism? Because chylomicron and very low density lipoprotein structure wise similar and the function wise are also similar but they are different. Why and how? Because chylomicron is carrying the triglycerides from intestine that means exogenous triglycerides from intestine to extra hepatic tissues and from there it is reaching to the liver but here very low density lipoprotein is produced in inside the liver and because triglycerides can be synthesized by the liver itself okay they are known as endogenous triglycerides so these endogenous triglycerides are supposed to be transported to extra hepatic tissues right so that is the only difference between chylomicron and very low density lipoprotein structure wise also they are similar but except there is a difference as we have said intestine chylomicron is produced so because in place of apoB100 it has got apoB48 very low density lipoprotein being synthesized in the liver there is a continuation in synthesization of apoB protein so it is apoB100 okay so it is a major lipoprotein present in VLDL which is secreted so what is the metabolic aspect so when they reach the peripheral tissue apoc2 as we said apoc2 when it is entering into circulation here also again okay apoc2 will be given from the hdl okay and apoc2 activates lipoprotein lipase which is present in the lining of extra hepatic tissues such as uh, skeletal muscles cardiac muscles and adipose tissue and the content of triglyceride inside the vldl will be shortened and it will be loaded i mean like dumped in the skeletal muscles, adipose tissue and cardiac muscles. Okay. The remnant is now designated as IDL. So that's the reason why we are not discussing part of IDL separately. Okay. So when VLDL is produced in the liver and it is carrying the triglyceride, it is known as VLDL. Okay. The moment it reaches to a circulation and enters into the extra hepatic tissues, the content inside that means triglyceride content will be decreased. So now as it is a less amount of triglycerides it is known as intermediary density lipoprotein and it contains less TAG and more of cholesterol and the major fraction of IDL further loses triglycerides so as to be converted to LDL. So here the VLDL and LDL so in the interconversion there is a formation of IDL. So LDL is rich of cholesterol VLDL is rich of triglycerides. So after losing triglycerides okay VLDL is converting into LDL in making of middle part that is intermediary density lipoprotein. The conversion of VLDL to IDL and then to LDL is referred as lipoprotein cascade pathway. Okay, VLDL to IDL and then IDL to LDL. It is known as lipoprotein cascade pathway. The fraction of IDL is taken up by the hepatic receptors. Okay, and VLDL carries endogenous TAG from liver to peripheral tissues for energy needs. So that's all about uh, VLDL uh, metabolism. And here the important uh, take home message is VLDL or the lipoproteins which transport triglycerides which are synthesized in the liver and to the extra hepatic tissues for energy purpose right and VLDL is also involved in making of LDL by decreasing its uh, TAG content thanks for watching thank you